So in my last episode, I showed you my shopping haul and all the bits that I've cleared out. Today, in this episode, even though it's the same day, I'm going to be planting most of these things, or at least using them in some way. So this, episode, this video, it may not be that interesting, but if you like seeing me plant stuff, then this is going to be a good episode for you. And if you also like seeing me fail trying to dig up roots, this is going to be a fun episode. Hello fellow plant lovers, welcome back to Mike's Greenhouse. So, in this video, I'm going to be doing many things, but to start it off, I'm going to plant these little strawberry plants. I uh, I love strawberries, because you can just go around and pick a bit off of them as you're going, and as you're walking around watering them, just pick up a strawberry, pop it in your mouth. Nothing better. Anybody else who does gardening, you'll know what I mean. So today I'm going to be planting and using pretty much all of the things I got today. So first of oil, I got a first of oil. First of all, I'm going to dig a nice hole. So um, this is going to be a boring episode unless you like this kind of thing. But I'll be showing you how I plant all of my things. So stick with it. It's going to be fun. So I'm trying to record with one hand and do all this. So that's going to be too deep. <laughs> it's going to be way, way too deep. Well, this one. Yeah, too deep. So really, you want it flush with the ground, because otherwise, you don't get your strawberries. So I'll just push a little bit back in there. Uh, some people do use grit or sand on the bottom of these. I don't myself, but you can do it. It doesn't hurt. It helps them. So it is really what you're into. So putting in the first strawberry plant here. It's not actually quite the right height so I add a bit more. There we go. So sometimes it is good to just check it over because you get little bits of moss like this. You don't want that, that is bad. So literally just chuck them away if you've got a pile, compost heap, anything like that, put it on there because it won't hurt and any other little bits of wood and mess basically. Then you just want to kind of rough up the top soil a bit like this. So that it's nice and loose, then just put it over. So some people like to put soil on top of the compost. You can do that, but in all fairness, that's where the plant has chosen to start growing. So if you put it on top of it, obviously it's going to be a little bit higher than what the plant's ready to grow at. So then after you've done that, simply pull it all down in. I'm doing a terrible job at this, and I probably should be wearing gloves. So as you can see, I have got a little bit of earth on top, but it doesn't matter like that as long as you can still see the uh, join of the plant where all of the shoots come up, that's fine. So now I have to dig the next hole. So time to dig the next hole. So again, try and pull up the earth like this and then just get it in a pile so it's easier to push it over. Don't dig a big pit because you don't need a massive piece of space. You just need a simple hole that your strawberry plant can fit in. So that's about right for me. So, so if you want to take it out, put your hand underneath it like this and squeeze the top and it will just fall out. Obviously be careful you don't crush the plant in doing so. So as you can see it is flush with the top. Of the, uh, of the top soil which is what you want because if it is below you're going to bury most of the plant as I said if it's too high then you're going to end up see all these roots here you're going to end up drying those out and possibly killing the plant as well and obviously the complete opposite in winter because if it's cold obviously it's going to kill the roots therefore killing the plant so this is my last strawberry so after this I'm going to be moving on to outside because there's nothing else to do in here until the end of the video maybe even another v video so again I've covered the top so again it doesn't matter too much just take the little bit off so you can see where they join that's all that matters because otherwise your strawberries they won't form properly and they'll form half underground and they'll rot before you even get strawberries so I've been looking at my soil I've got a bit of a dilemma. I don't know whether I should have my Tabery canes here or here. 
Another possibility is I have them here, just I don't want them to get trampled on. So, because I've not set up a proper path yet, I know I'm not going to be walking here because of the tree. So, I think it's safe to turn this soil, plant them there, and then if I have to move them in the future, but it doesn't really matter, because I know I'm not going to be walking here, even if I have the walkway here, it's not there so i don't think it would hurt planting them there i'm just going to do a bit of research actually whether they'd be right here because they're going to be in full sun for well morning and evening so i'm not sure but as far as i know you can plant them there so and also this is definitely going to be a uh, three part chain video so obviously the first part by this time is already uploaded this is the second part and i'm probably going to stagger the uploads of them all so i might upload the first one today as i'm recording it second one tomorrow perhaps or maybe today and the third one perhaps the day after so that way by the time i've uploaded the last one I'll be on to the next bit, but you never know, this may be two parts, this, I may not have to have another video, but looking at the time I might have to, so let's get planting. Alright, so I'm back, but um, I originally in, uh, intended to record this, but I decided not to as it would take way too long to record this, because I've been out here for quite a while now, so I put my lights down and put some of the cream stone, I think it's called, around them. Um, I plant, planted primroses all along the front here, uh, which look quite nice. I planted the uh, two tay berries there, and I planted my four sugar snap there. I've not quite, well, I've got a little bit of a label, but it isn't so good. So I'm going to make a new one in a minute. Uh, again, with that, that light and that light, there's a little gravel around it. And here are my broad beans, which I have just got little bits of bamboo supporting them for now. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got a few, well I say a few, I have two plants. So this back one here is a French climber, and this one is a broad bean. They're just really small. This one I don't even know if it's alive or not. So I'm just keeping them in here to keep them on. By the way, this is the slug killer I use. So I'm keeping them in here now just to bring them on until they're big enough. And I might plant them out or I might even leave them in here in all fairness because it's going to be quite late when they do grow. And I put some marigolds around the pumpkin because it attracts green fly that eat the white fly because the white fly, they eat pumpkin, they see. Wow. So this is my first little bit. Hopefully next episode I'm going to try and get some pa paving to go along here and possibly around the back. Or like along here. So I've got this back wall will be used as well. I'm hoping to get some potatoes and grow them here along the back. Or maybe even there. But I've got plenty of uh, space and time to just decide what I do out here. So I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and trust me, I enjoyed making it. And uh, here's all the rubbish I got from clearing it out, which I'm not going to enjoy clearing up. But hey, I won't be doing that today because well, I've not got a wheelbarrow on hand. <laughs> so this is my, this is part one of my outside setup. I hope you enjoy, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye plant lovers.